sorry there, Norky boy, but I don't want to deal with you right now. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 21 of Spiral Hero Cell. So we made it to the volcano and I forgot to get over here on my own, so... Yeah, but then I just realized while sitting there, unsure of how to get there, that, um... We could just do that. And also, this phoenix is just gonna stare at me. Oh! This is with the last light gem here. Nice, nice. Also, I really wish that the camera wouldn't do that spinny thing. I know it's the controller I'm using, but still... Alright, there's some gems over there that look like they could be worth getting if we needed more money, but we're already pretty high on money. And this is the last light gem of the game, or of the game, of the zone. Oh, and we need to go over there past Mr. Imperdimp here. Oh, and it gives you the invincibility gadget here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I actually need it. Maybe? I don't know if I actually need it, but it is worthwhile getting, because... Oh, I missed, um... I missed one. Oh, I missed the one right there. I just... Just straight up didn't ground pound it. For whatever reason, I'm just an idiot. I made it over here and was like, oh yeah man, I, I can get over there now. So I think this is just a way to get a shortcut back. Even though I'm pretty sure you could just die and, you know, go back to where you were. Also, I think you actually do technically need to take this way, because it is slightly higher. I don't know if his double jump could naturally get up there. He might be able to grab onto the ledge. Oh! I did hit it. Never mind. I think I know what I need to do. I think what I need to do... Is I need to hit it, right? But then I need to wait for it to go down slightly so then I can get up onto it. So we don't need the uh, the invincibility because that slows us down a little too much. This is actually quite a bit of work for this last light gem in this level. Alright, so now we need to wait for it to go down a bit. Five, four, three... Wait, but how would I get up there naturally? Can I actually make that jump at all? Um, game, let me out of the lava already. I don't want to cook. Wait a minute, what's this one then? Oh! Wait, it gets rid of your invincibility when, like, when it does a cutscene like that? Oh, this entire thing is timed! Oh, gotta love getting hit by a fireball in the dragon anus. I'm gonna kill that little reject next time. But why does it have to show you a cutscene of everything, you know? Like, if it didn't show you a cutscene every time, this wouldn't be half as tedious. But the cutscene is just... Just super annoying. Also, I still don't get why sometimes those enemies attack you, and other times they don't. Like, that time he tried to, but... Oh yeah, I forgot there's that enemy there. Did we... Alright. Oh, thank god. Oh, they all started going down, too. And that should be the final light gem of this zone. This zone, now 100% complete. So we can just die now. And this just brings us right back to Zoe.
Alright, so now we can go back this way. We should have our North Buddy show up. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought North Buddy would show up there, but he didn't. Also, okay, good. But there's the lumber camp over here, which means then we can just teleport. Oh, actually, thank you for saying anything, because I needed you. Feel free to browse my fine wares. Um, let's and see. Spin, bottom? Spin. Wait. Do I actually have to backtrack through all of this? Oh my lord. Also, that's unfair, game. The fact that that enemy literally just didn't take any damage. Okay, not that way. We need to go this way. Because I'm pretty sure we just accidentally didn't get the the pa the uh, money bags things in the last level. Or technically the fourth level? Because this is the third one, right? Or is this the th second one? No, this is the third level. And this zone actually is way bigger than I remember being as a kid. Like, I remember a lot of this, and, like, what's going on here. But at the same time, I don't remember that there were technically this many, like, mini sections of levels where the levels themselves are, like, super small and only have, like, half the normal collectibles of any other level. Also, I still don't know if those are supposed to hurt you or not, because I've never been hurt by them, despite, you know literally running headfirst into the fireball. Wait, is there actually a reason to go this way? Other than, you know, being infernalized in the immortal flames of Hockey Stickville? Or was it literally just gems? I have no idea. I think it was just- yeah, it was just ge wait, why did it- why did I even bother? We know that it was just gems. Like, we know for a hundred percent fact that it's just gems. Oh, time for a drink while we go down this massive elevator. I am having fun recording, but there have been some cheap moments in this game. At least today. Yeah, we're still molten mount. And this will be the top. Which, something nice to know, is that none of the, um, little mine minigame there counts as this zone. So yeah, they're- Oh, top and bottom are the exact same! Okay, so they technically count as one zone, despite being two separate maps with two separate money bags teleporters. Okay, no idea how I avoided damage with that impy dimp there, but yeah, now we need to go this way. And we got Crackling K. There we go. Yeah, there is something this way. Oh, it's like... Don't tell me this is going to be an easy item. I love easy items. Alright, we got a zigzaggity egg. I remember when we were getting those like crazy. Also, I guess we can check our totals now. Because now we need three more eggs. Four more light gems. But... We only need one more zigzag egg, one more ember egg, or yeah, ember egg, and one more sergeant bird egg. That is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, we haven't run into Blink yet. Oh god, Blink. I didn't think of. I think he's down in the in the last zone though. I'm pretty sure. I hear a light gem, so that's a good sign. Also, these are just fodder, so we don't have to worry about them. This is gonna be annoying, isn't it? Though, it's a side... Oh, you know, if we're gonna do this whole, uh, gimmick here, could you at least make it look like it's side-scrolling like Crash Bandicoot does? That'd be, like, so much better. Actually, can Water Breath kill these guys? Hang on, I wanna go to Water Breath. And I'm an idiot. I click Circle, which, by the way, I'm recording Enter the Dragonfly. You guys killed it on the first episode. Um, but... Oh, wait, this one's better because it's longer range than the other. Uh, 
Oh, now I take damage from it. Okay. I guess I should be using the water breath more often. Because apparently it's strong enough to deal with them, too. Oh. Wait, don't I have, um... How do I do it? R, yeah, R1. Oh, they're... Okay, that's annoying. You know what? Just pardon me, sir. Get back here, bats. I hate that bats are the most annoying fodder to get, and that goes for any Spire game. It's not just this game. In Spire 1 and Ice Cavern, they were annoying to get to. Wait. Wait, are you telling me that was it? Like, we... Okay. I guess we're now going to... Chains of Lava, let's go. I guess that's all that was there. Yeah, this is the exact same. Alright, okay, I'm on Ice Breath, which is good because of the... Oh. Alright, okay, good. I was gonna say, it better not teleport me back, but I have to spend more money. Mm. You know what the biggest issue is? They expect you to use like the, the different breaths, right? For example, water because it's long range. But then, at the same time, then you gotta switch back to a different breath to deal with these enemies. And is that the dark gem right there? In the first little section of the level? Wow, okay. Don't know exactly what this is gonna do, because it, maybe it's just gonna continue the pathway for us. Maybe, like, it's necessary. Oh yeah, it's necessary. We can't even progress this level without it. And that's the last light or dark gem in these two zones. Oh, it's floaty. Uh, oh, it's not floaty anymore. That was just weird. Also, uh, did you see that? If you guys can feel my controller, it technically had stopped, like, moving, but it was vibrating as if I was being hit by something. Is there anything back there? No. I, I have a feeling we missed something in the ball gadget zone because it doesn't feel like there's a lot here. Also, look at that pixelated wall over there it just looks bad actually never mind this one is big and does have another teleporter but if blink is here then I could see why there will be so many um uh things in this level that we're missing not not that that are left because or that we have whatever you know what I mean getting all tongue-tied after you record a game for so long you start to lose your mind. That's why I switch up games when I'm recording. I can't just record one game and that's it. Let's see what this is. Just gems. Nope. Three light gem. I'll take it. And that's four to six. We still need three eggs though. So if there is a... Oh god, more of these guys? Really? <sighs> that means we're gonna get either an egg or a gem at the end of this, because they always do. Yeah, Water Breath is definitely... Oh, yeah, see? I think essentially what you do is you follow them. So, judging by that, if there's one Light Gem left and multiple eggs, could clearly be Blink, which is honestly my least favorite. I thought Sergeant Bird was my least favorite. Only Sergeant Bird 2 was bad. Like, the second level. The rest of them were perfectly fine. The third one was in his... No, that was the Ice one. Never mind. That one was fine. Oh, there's the... Um, game. Let me use my breath attack. Thank you. Okay, there's that pathway over there. And then there's that... Oh, no, it sparks here. That's that's actually better. Because then that will be the last light gem. And that means two more eggs. Which means this looks like... Okay, that's the next zone. So, we'll go here first because we do need... Uh, a key. What, what zone was this, by the way? Sparks can fly. The Oh, I, I get it. It's a pun. Hey, Sparks. Hey, 
Hero, you'll never fit into that crack. You know, I usually find valuable stuff in these places. You know, he lost his weird attitude when it came to these. Oh, yeah. I still remember everything. Oh, no, there's fire imps in here. Which die in one hit like any other enemy, so... I guess in reality, they're not any more difficult. I just like to bum rush these, because, like, they're not difficult. Oh, that's the nuke. I guess, technically speaking, if we run into too many enemies... Wait, is this the booster, though, too? Oh, I know, that's rapid fire. I don't know why that's rapid fire, by the way. It's the barrels that, uh... Sergeant Bird used. These are the boosts, which is... Which look like they'd be, like, health or something. I guess it's technically kind of like mana. Man, Sparks, I don't know how you're even alive in here, buddy. Nuke. Kill them all. I never know what to talk about in these, but Sparks actually might make it into the cuts, or into the thumbnail for once. That was on me. Whoa! Oh, you know what? Wait. Is that like a mini boss? Just die already. Thank you. Oh, he didn't die. Don't kill me, man. Oh, that was the it. That was the it. That was it. <laughs> that was the it. Well, oh, thank you. Hey, here you go, Spyro. I got a dragon egg. Man, those things are heavy. Well, they're like triple your size, so I'd assume so. Now we gotta go for the light gem. Hopefully that doesn't mean more phoenixes in the middle of the battle. And like I said, just gonna kind of just use this as much as humanly possible, because... Oh, now we... Ow. Okay, that's not fair at all. Luckily the extra hit does carry over. But I was an idiot and got hit literally a billion times in there. Now I gotta kill enemies in hopes that they actually drop me health. Like I said, I don't know if it's random or if like there's a specific enemy type that drops health. But none of these guys are dropping me health, so... I'm a little nervous. Or maybe it's based off of like... Missing health for a certain period of time, you know? I hear cracking. Does that mean there's gonna be more... Things falling? The things falling, like I said, are the hardest part of these levels. The level itself, like, like look at this, it's just a few bugs. Like, and the lava doesn't even hurt you, because you can't touch the ground in this. Man, oh god, he's got a lot more minions now. One hit and we're dead, though. Oh no, I'm out! Oh, okay, we made it. We don't actually have to kill him. That was a close call. Because I kind of want to finish this zone if possible before we end the episode, so... There we go. Okay, Spyro. I got that light gem. You know, it's a good thing I can fit into those gaps, or you'd never get all the dragon eggs or light gems you need. Yeah, surprisingly enough. That, that's actually reasonable. Now we have every light gem here, though. So all that we're missing is the last e two eggs, which is a substantial amount of eggs, honestly. So we need to go this way. Are we still on ice breath? Okay, this looks rickety. Alright, so the threat are just the fireballs around us, but just want to double check to make sure that there's nothing like off to the sides or anything that you know could that could harm us. Oh, okay, can't even get on that box. Weird. Ooh, this looks, um, almost like it should be a supercharged section. Based off of, like, how it looks. Oh. No, but I know who it is. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Uh, that's backwards, right? 
No, that's not backwards, that's forwards. Alright, now I'm questioning where the last egg is. I hate though, like, if you get hit once above lava, you're essentially doomed. I'm pretty sure they said that the ice breath was supposed to cool geysers. Like, fiery geysers, but it... Wait, or does it technically shut them down? I forgot about one key factor about these games. Remember I said that there's no, um, charge jump, so watch. I'm going to press charge and jump at the same time. That's what it does. Even in A Hero's Tale, or A Hero's Tale, in Enter the Dragonfly, the worst spiral game with, like, janky controls, and it still has that feature. I Even the Game Boy games, I'm pretty sure, have that feature. Or at least one close to it that at least functions, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, I literally just straight up cheesed it. Okay. Alright, thank you for letting me pass their fire. I feel like this will lead somewhere, though. Could you imagine if it just... Oh, it doesn't actually lead anywhere, so then where's the last egg? I don't even know if, they, if we can get the last egg. We might have missed it. That would be a total shame. So for a fact, we're still missing the blink level. So the blink level has to be in the next zone, because it can't be in this one. And you know how we can tell? Because literally we have all the light gems. Blink always, always has a light gem. So that's the thing. Hmm, event. Interesting. Is this even on the map? This isn't even on the map. This place is eerily creepy. It keeps the music, but it's just so interesting. Maybe the last egg just isn't in a in map range. I don't know if Spyro would do that, like have it where you can't actually technically see where the last item is on a map, but it's very plausible I guess. Nope, there's the mine down there. I knew the mine was supposed to be... Oh, now we have no music again. Oh, no, new music. So we should be in a new zone. Hmm... Though, judging by the the one minigame there with the sphere, or the ball gadget, whatever they call it, um, I'm pretty sure... Uh, what was I gonna say? Pretty sure we didn't get every- or, we didn't miss anything, because it would be weird to have two eggs and only one light gem in there. Also, why do they make these so notoriously slow? You could get drunk while waiting for these. Just kidding, we're drinking Coke Zero, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what time is it? It's only 1.42. Felt like I've been recording for like a day, but... You know. Not the case. I know I've only recorded three episodes of the... Oh, thank God. That would have been embarrassing. And this is the Mind Melt. Which has, let's see, six light gems, five eggs, two dark gems. Oh, but yet three teleporters, including one right after the first one, but then none for a while, which is odd. This is... I'm just waiting for them to have an... Wait, are those robots? 45 light gems? Um, game, you do realize that those are supposed to be difficult to get to, right? That's very low for the end of the game area. Huh. We'll check it out. After I destroy this. Oh, and this. Because we're gonna need to get more keys, so I might as well keep above the threshold of 43 or 40,000. Oh, Robo Norse! Oh, yeah! By the way, kind of a teaser to what's to come in the game. Okay, right, so you cannot headbutt them when they're charging you. That's good to know. 
I hear another Nor. Oh, and everybody's frozen. Goodbye, Nork. Oh, God, more bear traps. It's actually been a while. Such a weird enemy choice, too. Just bear traps for a dragon, you know? That seems a little odd. Oh, they literally have the exact same attack as the other Norks, just with a lightning staff instead of an axe or a hammer or something. Oh, it's the invincibility. Remember I mentioned the lack of invincibility? Now all of a sudden there's lots of invincibility in this game. Yeah, I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go under here, so... Uh-oh. Stupid janky walls. Whoa, what the heck was... Oh, the bubbles! The bubbles are what push you around in this. That's really weird. Oh, and there's an egg down here, too. Isn't that the, like, egg typing that we have the least of, though? I think we've already went that way. So let's get out of here before we die, because the timer on this is super finicky. There we go. So we now have one, one... Oh, wow. There actually isn't that much... And is that... Yeah, that's the entire little place here. We'll probably get to the next save point, and then we'll call it an episode. Still don't get why that door only needed that few, but... Mm -hmm. So we need to go this way. See, there's also a lot of uh, dark gems. That's because this is where they mine them. Ooh. Finally, new enemy types, and it took till the end of the game. Nice. And that poison does hurt you, by the way. Just if you want to know. Yeah, don't don't step in the poison. Uh, where's the keyhole? There it is. Oh, and a free light gem for doing literally nothing again. Nice. I like that. Super easy. Alright, and if you're here, then that means there should be... Hopefully, Zoe soon. Hidden... Hidden what? What was this song called? The Hidden Depths. I don't know if it's really hidden, because this is like the mandatory way to go, but... Oh, I hear a light gem, too. Sorry there, Norky boy, but I don't want to deal with you right now. Sorry. Wait a minute. I see. Oh, never mind. Also, what the heck did I get hit by? Alright, so this is where we'll save our game. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and join the Discord and Patreon in the links below. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye